What's up everyone, and welcome back. New video on the channel with a brand new car. This is the Hyundai Kona. This is just a weird little crossover that they decided... You know what the Forza community wants is a crossover in the game. Not only just a crossover, but a, one of those like miniature crossovers, which have, in my opinion, absolutely no use in the world at all. This is a hatchback. It's just straight up a hatchback that's been lifted to look more like an SUV. That's literally all this car is. I, I just, I never understood the point of small crossovers. I don't get it. I really just do not understand. I think the Hyundai have definitely stepped up their game though, styling wise. It's not a bad looking car. I can't really say that it's a bad looking car. But it's a very boring car, isn't it? Like it's just such a, a non like car people's car. As much as they want to make it out to be with the little end badge and the fake diffuser and the loud exhaust and stuff. At the end of the day, it's still a small crossover, right? Like, it's just it's just like the, the VW T-Cross, I guess, which is what this is kind of, you know, rivaling. The T-Cross R or the T-Rock R, what are those things? VW have like seven different billion uh, versions of the same uh, Golf, <laughs> but it's like slightly longer Golf. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that TikTok or it's like it's different videos online where it just shows you the VW's lineup is just golfs, but I'm pretty sure it all came from Top Gear. I'm pretty sure Clarkson made uh, the same joke way back in the day. Uh, but yeah, basically, it's all just golfs. It's the same thing. It's just a tall golf, slightly longer golf, uh, golf of, that goes off-road, golf for seven people to seat seven people. And it's just stuff like that, which is what this is, right? It's just a little Hyundai i20 or i30, whatever, that's kind of lifted up a little bit off the ground and given just just the same engine as the, the i30N or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, right? We have the i30N in the game, which I think, in my opinion, is a really cool hot hatch. I like the i30N. I think the i30N is a good car. Uh, I think the Veloster was actually quite a nice car as well. But then you have these things now, which just don't make any sense to me. There's the i... Oh, sorry, this is the, the Veloster. We should really get the high, the i30N in this game, in my opinion. I think that, that'd be a, a cool car. I like the Veloster. I've always liked the Veloster. I like the i30, like I said. It's, I think it's a cool little hatchback. This thing, though, is just boring. I, I, I don't know. It's just boring. Also, over the past year, uh, I've seen these things, these high Iconas, just ignite, just go up in flames. I've seen a few of these on fire. Not in person, but I've seen videos of a bunch of these on fire. Most recently, I've seen one in Ireland that went to get its NCT done. NCT, by the way, for people that don't know, is basically just uh, a yearly or bi-yearly uh, checkup, right, for your car. Uh, it's to see if it's roadworthy. So, like, emissions, stuff like that, basically. It's the same sort of system that other countries have, like the UK have the MOT, but they can do it at a specific garage or, or like, at any garages. Um, and then Germany's system, which is very similar to Ireland's system, where you bring it to an actual center where you get your car tested. Um, but basically, there was one of these just in the center, just on fire. And it was just the funniest thing ever. But I've seen a few of these before, even on the side of the road, just on fire. So I don't understand why the Hyundai Kona is so flammable, but I guess it is. Hopefully it's got recalled and people, and we don't see another one on the road on fire. As for engine swaps, boring, we only have that. It is front engine, it's front wheel drive. I mean, what else can I really say about this thing? I feel like I kind of want to give this thing all wheel drive. I mean, at, at the very, very least, <clears throat> have it so it's so it's all wheel drive. So it's more like a rally car than anything else, you know what I mean? Because at least it's lifted off the ground and you could possibly even run this off road a little bit. But I don't really know how that's going to work. We have... A splitter at the front. There you go. <laughs> big, big old wing at the back. I'm not going to really put anything there. I don't even know what to use this thing for. Because it's it's not... I don't think it's going to be good as a street car. But I also don't think it's going to be good as an off-road car. But I'll have a little go at it. As a, as a little off-road. Kind of like a... Not a cross-country build. But but something... Something that we could have a little bit out of a... Of a go. Actually, maybe a cross-country build wouldn't be too bad. Something like a, a nice tight circuit with this thing. Maybe you could try use it. Um, on one of those. We could give that a shot. Uh, I'm gonna try to see how much power we can squeeze out of the stock engine out of this thing. And then I'll... I'll do, uh... 
I'll do some menu swaps if we really needed to. Let's have a quick look. I mean, we can have drift suspension on this thing. It's it, not even low. Like, it just doesn't even look even lowered. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think about this thing. I think styling-wise, I think styling-wise, it's fine. I like the Hyundai's new styling design and all that sort of stuff. I think I think they look good. I think their grills are much nicer. I think their cars look much better, much more modern and up-to-date versus back in, like, what, 20... Even, like, as late as, like, 2015 or 2016, their cars still look really dated. And I don't think anybody would really want to... Uh, by Hyundai, but now they're kind of everywhere. Like I think I'm pretty sure this car in Ireland is one of If not the most popular car in Ireland, not the end version of it But like just a normal one because I'm pretty sure you can get these as not only uh, a petrol But you can get it as a hybrid and you can also get it as an electric car as well. So that's kind of cool. I guess Lots of pops lots of bangs and I mean I'm pretty sure the stock one does lots of pops as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the stock one does, does loads of pops. Because the Veloster and the i30 do it. I remember seeing it. 526 horsepower weighs 1,299 kilos. Not really a big fan of that. I feel like engine swap wise, we might have to slap in that. I mean, it's an S1 now, I just realized. Jesus. I kind of wanted to keep this thing low class. Maybe S1 isn't the way to go. Because I don't. this is not just not going to be fast. I know it's not going to be fast. What if we drop it into like... A class. Let, yeah, let's do A class. I think I think maybe A class could probably be a good idea for this thing. I mean, I can even slap on the wing on, on it and it'll let us go in power a little bit more. Does it though? Can I at least do this? I can't. I mean, I can, but then I need to just get rid of some other things, which I'm perfectly fine with doing. Uh, valves. What else? Like there you go, you can do something like that. Perfect, done. 466 horsepower. One weighs 1,299 kilos. I don't really want to bring this thing to the top of its class. It just feels. It, it, I don't think I'm. Oh, sorry, not to the top of its class. I don't want to bring it to as like as much power as I possibly can add onto this thing because I know it's not gonna. It's not gonna be good in its class. So at the very least, try to build it to the top of the class. You know. I could possibly do front arrow as well on this thing, and then maybe change a couple of things, but... I don't really know how much that would actually help. Alright, let me slap on a bit of a tune on this thing and see what we can work with here. I don't even know how much, or what the acceleration is like in this thing. And I don't even know what track to bring it on, but we'll, we'll figure that out. Now, for the design and paints, let's have a little go at this, see what's here. Yeah, it's pretty much the same Hyundai colors. Black, red, this like baby blue, and this like... Weird kind of almost almost off white type of color. I'll put it in this baby blue. I'll, I'll put it there. And as for the wing, I'm gonna leave the wing alone. Wheels actually don't look that bad to be honest with you. Wheels I don't really mind at all. Um, and I definitely don't want to paint any other body panels on this thing. I think we're fine with it. Let's just drive it. This is probably the least enthused I've been with a car so far. We've had obviously some of the DLC cars, which I still have yet to take a look at all of them, but. Like, I, we have those, and I'm more enthusiastic about driving something, like, weird in Chinese, like the little EV box, that I am about driving this thing. Oh, it accelerates like a rally car. Okay. Let's bring it on a Rivals event to try it out. A little dirt racing track, something small. You could do a little Baja scramble. Could do something like that. Caldera Scramble, I feel like it's just... Eh, I don't know if it's going to be good for it. I don't know if it's going to be good for it. At the Zerto Trail. Yeah, there's a few of these, obviously, that we could we could try. That are a little bit longer. Which I don't really mind. I don't know if I want to drive this thing on the actual road itself. I don't know if, if I want that, or do I... Or, we could go cross-country fully. And just try a really, really short track on cross country. But again, I feel like with these, you need something tiny, kind of like this, for example, um, to uh, to be able to actually use this. Pro you know what? Let's let's do it on this track. Let's do it on this track in A class because I don't think we need a lot of power for this thing. We just need good control. I or it looks like I've never done a, a run on in A class on the track, so let's try it out. See. 
See if you can slap this thing somewhere nice on the leaderboard. Even as uninterested as I am in it now. Let's just try it out. I've driven on this track lots of times, so... Should be completely fine. What are we looking out for? Things here. Let's get rid of that. Put that on standard steering. Had that on, of course, with the... Uh, with the drag cars that we were doing yesterday. Also, I just realized that I had auto steering on and I was like drifting earlier trying to get this guy. I mean, corner grip is good. Tiny, tiny bit wide, but I'm cooling into this corners. I mean, the way I built this thing, the front end just grips up really nicely. I don't really have to worry about that. Lateral grip isn't fantastic. Oh, it's not bad, actually. I just wanted to see if I was right. This thing has a this little cross-country car. as a little rally car. If it was a good idea to build it like that. I'm happy with the acceleration on the corners, though. Can't lie. That's fine. Let's try that again. I mean, we don't really care about this first lap. This first lap is more like a little scouting around and seeing what the car is like. Because we need a run-up anyway for the for the start here. Obviously, I can't crash into anything. Ideally, I should probably try to go a little wider, right? That would make a lot more sense. Not like that. <laughs> we try that again from all the way back here. Now aim for this bit, and now we turn it. There you go. That's what it should look like. That's what it should look like if I want to keep my speed up. Uh, I know, continue laughing. I don't even know what the right gear is for this thing to go around some of these corners. I'm just do a couple of laps with it. See what it's capable of, time-wise. Try to do too much sliding. I actually don't really mind my gear issues either. I feel like I got this spot on for this track. Bad. Or like any jumps or anything like that. It'll just throw this thing off course. Oh my god, just like that. Okay, somehow I saved it. What was that? 104. I can do better than 104. I can do better than that. faster again. You know what? I'm fine with that. We'll leave it alone. And I feel like I'm gonna be able to keep doing that all day long and then try to improve by a tenth of a second every single time. Like, it's just it's just gonna be the same thing. Um, yeah. I mean, for what I wanted to build it for, I guess it was alright. You don't really have many engine swaps available, you know? Because I would have done some crazy or weird things with it if I had some more engine swaps, but obviously we can't. Because we don't. I'm gonna guess we're like 
18,000 in a world or something stupid, or something low. It just doesn't feel that great. Like, it's it's easy to drive and all that, but it it just doesn't feel like I'm going fast enough. Maybe that's just me. Maybe because I'm used to just driving, like, really quick cars around these tracks, but I just... I feel like it needs more oomph. You know? More oomph. Um, there's a lot of cheetah scores. We're seeing a lot of Jeep CJ5s on this leaderboard. Sub of one minute, a bunch of wheelies, Jeeps, and, and all that sort of stuff. These are all the sub one minutes. I'm way off. 3,600 at the Kona? Yeah. It's just not... It's just not great, is it? I don't even know like what can you like really use this thing for. Have people built anything crazy for this thing? I mean, it's been out for a little while now. Actually, it's been out for a day. What am I on about? It's been out for a day, but... I don't know. There's just... There's just something about... Oops. There's just something about it that's... It's a little boring to look at, but also a little boring to drive. It just doesn't feel... Like anything special, you know? It's just kind of... Here's the, here's the car that they've added into the game. I feel like this is probably one of the more... Um, I guess... Underwhelming... Updates that we've had. In terms of uh, what sort of uh, what sort of cars were added into the game, I feel like they could have done some good stuff with this. Even if we had some old Hyundai's, I actually wouldn't really mind, you know, like an old uh, an old Hyundai Coupe, like for the people that don't know what that is, or a Tiburon, I guess, if it's from America. Like I want one of them to be added into the game, you know, with the three liter V6 in it. How cool would that be? You know, instead of having all these new crossover things, you'd have some some weird old. Old Hyundai cars. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. But I guess they kind of wanted to, you know, promote these cars and stuff like that, so... it's probably why they're in the game. There's a couple more as well that we're gonna have to take a look at. Like, we have this Lincoln Co. HB thing, which is just the, the hatchback version of the other cars. It looks the exact same, man. These people at Lincoln Co. and their lineup is just the funniest thing ever, because it just is the same car over and over again, except the back end is just slightly different. There's the i30N. Oh yeah, I'm an idiot. By the way, <laughs> earlier when I said that we should get the i30N, I remember it seeing it somewhere, and I was like, I can't believe we didn't get it, and it's it's there. Yeah, the i30N I like. It's it's a cool hatchback. And then we have the MG7 as well there, but then that thing as well. The Ionic 6 is one of the most disgusting cars I've ever seen in my entire life. It's like it wants to be a Mercedes CLS so bad, uh, but then it just well, they came out with that, and it's just awful looking, terrible, terrible looking car. Literally disgusting. Okay, I'm done with the adjectives for it. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> it's just a, such a such a bit of a downer video, though. But I have to really take a look at this thing, and I don't really want to be like you know overly positive over something that's just you know very uninteresting. But I wanted to see what it was like. Maybe it was something you know crazy with this thing. Maybe maybe they they added some crazy engine swaps so you can get this thing to be really fast. It's just like the uh, the little. Uh, the little car that we had a few days ago, the little ruling uh, macaron that we had a few days ago from the car pack. Like, I took this thing out, I was like, or like, I, I, I bought the car pack and I looked at it and I was like, this is, why, why do they add this into the game? Like, who is this really for? And then I drove it and I was like, oh, never mind. It is insanely cool to drive. So there you go. It's, it's just, uh, it's just uh, a nice, nice difference because there's, there's engine swaps available for it. You can give it a silly amount of horsepower and stuff like that. It's just, it's just a cool little car. Whereas this thing is just boring stock and it's boring tuned, unfortunately. Well, yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.